First the morning, Chess Bank customers walk up to the sad reality that their bank isn't operational. The reason being the bank had been placed under receivership by the Central Bank of Kenya, with the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation now in charge of the bank's affairs. The lender's closure comes barely a day after the management put up a brave face, saying all was well and reassuring customers who were curious about messages doing rounds on social media. This is not your mom and pop store. This is a bank. And, uh, and so when it cannot meet its obligation, the rules are clear. It needs to be put in receivership. But where did it all go wrong for the lender? On Wednesday, the bank published its restated financial performance that perhaps gave a glimpse of what was ailing the bank. The bank's auditors had raised the red flag that it received limited information on the company's financial performance while poking holes at its accounting standards. A key concern was the amount disbursed to employees, directors and shareholders. When the bank first published its results on March 31st, insider loans stood at 5.72 billion shillings. At the behest of the central bank less than a week later, the bank restated its numbers indicating that it had actually lent out 13.62 billion shillings. This institution would have survived, would have continued to work. If they had actually recognized this thing, I mean these loans, they would have dealt with them. And uh, it would have, because in a sense it would have been cleaning their balance sheet. Following that revelation, the bank's chairman Zafrullah Khan and group managing director Dan Kanhafoy resigned on Wednesday. That was soon followed by panic amongst industry stakeholders and customers with social media messages further aggravating the situation. No bank in the entire world can sustain pressures uh, of everybody running out of the ex, you know, trying to get their money at once. In a bid to protect depositors, creditors as well as public interest, the central bank resolved to close the bank and place it under a receiver manager for a period of 12 months beginning Thursday, a process that the governor terms as complicated. It's a bit like a military operation. You need to have people in all those jurisdictions with instructions and uh, that will make sure that we'll actually take over the building, the institution and so forth, headquarters. Even then, the CBK governor remains optimistic that Chess Bank will be back in business pretty much soon. He is placing his bet on the possibility of the bank's shareholders bringing in additional capital to boost the bank's financial position. This development now raises concerns of a prevailing accounting practices among financial institutions in the country. Just last week, National Bank of Kenya sent six senior managers home after reversing a 3.2 billion shillings third quarter profit to post a 1.2 billion shillings full year loss. Patrick Gunza, Citizen, live at nine.